Welcome everyone to this uh, short tutorial on how to do a simple regression in Excel. So, uh, you know, let's say you have a set of data, wherever it is, hopefully you can just highlight it and do control C, control V, right, to paste it into Excel. If you have to type it in manually, that's fine too. <clears throat> There's our data. Once your data is loaded in Excel, you want to have it all highlighted, including the, um, the labels, right? Up here, this is telling us this is the X variable, this is the Y variable. Once it's all labeled, <clears throat> it's really simple. You go to Insert. Right here, there's a, a thing for scatter plots. Click the little down arrow and go to scatter plots. You could probably just click the button actually, since we're not going to do anything but the standard scatter plot, and then we're going to adjust it. So here's the plot of our data. Now go over and click on the plus button because we want to add some chart elements to it. And down here, we want to add the trend line. So that's our linear regression line. And then if we click on this little arrow, we can bring up the, uh, the different options for our trend line. So we can have a linear line, we can try an exponential line. You know, there's all sorts of different ways you can try and um, fit a line to it. But we're going to leave it linear. And then we're going to go to more options. <clears throat> you can see we're still on linear. And then now down here, we want to display the equation of the line. And we want to display the R squared value, the basically the correlation coefficient. And now you have everything you need. If you click on the little box, you can move it over here where you can see it better. And if you want to, you can even highlight it and um, make the uh, text bigger so it's easier to read. Ooh, look at that. Now I can finally see the equation of my line and, and all that fun stuff. So <clears throat> that's it's that simple. It doesn't matter how big your set of data is. Just follow the same protocol. Copy, paste it, highlight the entire table of data. Um, I think Excel is set up where the first column has to be the X variable and the second column has to be the Y variable. So you might have to move columns around if your data is presented to you in a different format. You know, like for some strange reason, they put the Y stuff in the first column. And then, like I said, insert, scatter plot. It'll give you the standard scatter plot. Go to the plus, add your trend line, go to the options, more options. Over here, display the equation and the R squared value. It's that simple. That should be able to get you through uh, creating any of these things for any type of questions that ask you to create. Um, a regression line. And then the only other types of questions you have to worry about is, okay, now that I have all this information, what can I do with it? And it usually just means um, using this equation to predict things. So for instance, they could, they could say, here is your regression line. Um, use this regression line to predict uh, a Y value given an X value of 4 or given an X value of 10. Uh, usually when we do regression, you, you try not to um, use this to predict outside of your range of data, right? We only have data from 1 to 6, so we kind of can only predict things between 1 and 6. And you're thinking, well, why would we predict when we actually have an answer for 4 and an answer for 3? It's the idea that whatever this experiment is, if you ran it again, you know, and had an input of 4, what could you predict as the output? It's that kind of idea. But you could also technically predict outside of your range. It's just usually not a good idea. But whatever they want you to predict, it means you're just simply putting that number in for x in this formula. right? So if they wanted you to predict uh, 4, it would be uh, it's going to equal 3.3086 uh, times 4 plus 7.62. There's my prediction, 20.8544. And you can see that that prediction is just a little bit higher than what we saw. And if you go to 4, you can see that the regression line is just a little bit higher than the actual dot, right? the actual value we got for 4. 
So you can see visually that that's what that line is telling us. It's, it's, that's our prediction. Okay, I, I think that's everything you'll need.